Hi, this is Matt Marchant, and I'd like to take a minute of your time and talk about self-sabotage. I'll be teaching an upcoming class titled The Roots of Self-Sabotage. So today I wanted to go through a few of the basics that I'm going to talk about in that class. So before we begin anything, we have to first ask ourselves the question, what do we want? So that could be, what goal do we have? What do we want for our life? It could mean many things. Uh, sometimes people actually, believe it or not, can have a hard time with this question. They're unsure of what they really want in their life. So I have a couple questions that we can ask that can help us develop a little bit deeper what this question is really getting at. So here's a question. If you had time off, what would you be doing? Or here's another question that I find very interesting. If you had an unlimited supply of money, what would you do? Well, immediately, a lot of people would say, I would quit my job, or I would work less hours. So from here, if we can find out what we want through any way of asking ourselves, we need to find out what it is that we want, and then the next step is we need to find out what that means. So let's go with that example of what would you do if you had an unlimited supply of money, and we'll say the answer is I would quit my job. So immediately, we're going to ask ourselves, what would that mean to you to quit your job? So, if you can read that, what would that mean? So now that we, we found out that I would quit my job, what would that mean is it would mean that I would have more time for myself, I would have more time to enjoy the things I want to do, and I'd be more in control of my life and my schedule. Perfect. So what we're doing now is in this phase right here, we're doing what's called growing down. And in this process, there's a few more steps that we would get to, but this is the first step. We're finding out whatever it is we want, what does that really mean? Now that we've asked that question, we have a second question to ask ourselves. Where does this lead? Now that they, the question is, I would quit my job and it would mean that I have more time for myself, I would be in more control over my schedule, all those types of things, where does this lead? What do you want to do with that time? What do you love to do? What do you dream of doing? What are you now going to do with that theoretical, as we talked about, if you had an endless supply of money and time? From here, this is now what's called, we are going to grow up. So think of a tree, and that's what the class is titled, The Roots of Self-Sabotage. We need to grow down with the roots. We need to ask ourselves, what does that really mean? Then, the deeper we grow these roots, the higher these branches are going to grow up and out, and we're going to find out what we want, what is it really leading to. So that's the basics of self-sabotage. I found these questions to be extremely important. We have to know what it is our goal is what we want. If we don't know what we want, we can ask ourselves some questions and just guess. And there's many different reasons on why guessing is very, very important. And there's many reasons on why questions themselves are very important. So if you don't know, take a guess. Who cares? Just come up with something. Get the process going. Once we figure that out, ask yourself, what does it mean and where does it lead? And now we're starting that process of looking into becoming more aware of our sabotaging behavior. So thanks for spending some time with me. Hope to see you in the class that I'll be teaching. Thanks for watching.